What you're looking at is the output of my simplified ECG machine, and the output is being displayed on an oscilloscope. You can see about once a second that little dot makes a, a sharp up and then down motion. That corresponds to the electrical potential across my heart, causing my heart to beat. And this is being recorded from two electrodes, which are just pennies taped to my chest. They go into this small circuit here. It's pretty simple. We have an operational amplifier, a few resistors, and a capacitor. The main purpose of the capacitor is to reduce the amount of electrical noise we get. And also I found that as I hooked up myself to the oscilloscope or to the amplification circuit, my body actually acted as an, as an antenna for a radio station. And I kept hearing the Spanish radio station. So I added the capacitor. Now we only get these low frequency components coming through. Here you can see these lower two bars correspond to my heartbeat. And this is just audio editing software. It's called Gold Wave. I'll record a small region of my heart. And now I'm just recording. It's a sound file, just like anything else. And I recorded 10 seconds of it. Now I'm going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is edit the volume and maximize the volume. The next thing I'm going to do is, I guess, select a small region and then trim that region out. And you can see there's a lot of electrical noise in here. These heartbeats aren't very clear. We've got all this vertical noise. And you can actually see that noise if we turn up the speed here. You see those little sine waves? Make it a little bit faster. That corresponds to the electrical noise uh, coming from my walls from the alternating current. Alternating current in most homes occurs at 60 hertz, so we've got a lot of 60 hertz noise in here. The easiest way to remove it is to apply a digital filter. I'm just going to do a band pass filter. So filter, this is going to be a low pass. I'm going to only allow things that are lower than 40 hertz. Now you can see the heartbeat is really clear and you can actually differentiate the P, Q, R, S, and T portions of the wave. You can look it up on Wikipedia if, if you need to. Uh, I'm going to save it as a raw sound file. I will name it ECG3 and I can actually graph it with Python. Um, I'll open up my Python script here and I will adjust the file name to be ECG3 and I will run the script and it's going to take just a second to load the first time there we go so this is the ECG that we just recorded so look at that not too bad huh now keep in mind that you could eliminate a lot of the noise using fancy analog circuitry and several more operational amplifiers or even a more fancy instrumentation amplifier but since we can do a lot of the signal processing with the computer software we have the ability to greatly simplify our circuit so this circuit is most likely what I'm going to end up using for my simplified ECG machine and it produces pretty nice results and you can get details of this project including circuit diagrams and source code and some example images at swharden.com. That is S-W-H-A-R-D-E-N dot com.